information is about this band from New Zealand, but they're not only a band, so just hold on. They are New Zealand's fourth most popular guitar based digi bongo a cappella rap funk comedy folk duo. Sounds mad, doesn't it? Well, that's exactly what they are. They're these two guys, they're called as Brett and Jermaine, and they have this band that is known as the Flight of the Concords. And the Flight of the Concord started off with touring around the world and their music became so popular that they were invited to comedy festivals all over the world. And later on they got so popular that HBO decided to actually make a series on them. And that's what I want you to check out. It's known as, yeah, Flight of the Concords. And it's about Brett and Jermaine and their loser journey from New Zealand to New York to trying to make it as musicians. And they pretty much do stay loser musicians throughout. But what's really amazing about this series and is something that you should watch out for because they mix their music, of course, in the episodes. Um, I'm just going to give you like a little sample of what their music really sounds like. I cannot sing, but these guys don't sing either. It's all about the lyrics. So here I am. Here I am, all dressed in snakeskin. Now I'm in your kitchen, making love to your cake tin. Oh no, is this the one that you bake in? I told you I was freaky, did you think that I was faking? At 8 p.m. I sell my underpants on eBay. At half past nine, I hold the CMs on the hallway. At 10 p.m. I ask three ghosts for a three-way. Yes, it's creepy, but I told you I was freaky. <laughs> I'll catch you again very soon. I'll catch you again on Thursday, actually. So in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, and help increase the tribe. Ciao. While the search continues for survivors, I wanted to kind of drop in this story just to bring in a little ray of hope, one of the world's longest survivors of an earthquake. As per reports, no post-mortem was conducted on Shastriji's body. However, dark blue spots and cut marks were found on his abdomen.